Good it's morning. Great, great. Calling you from Toronto, Canada. How uh, you know, lots of Canadian fans here, I have to tell you. I yeah, yeah we're we're very excited to hear you're from Toronto. I've never been, but I'm very excited to come once all this is over. Uh, yeah, I was just gonna say, once this is over, hop on the plane. Yeah. I'll take you for I'll take both of you ladies for a nice coffee. I'll be your guide. I'm happy yeah. to do it for you. I love it. Perfect. I love it love so it. much. I love coffee. <laughs> Yeah, any time. Well, we could go a little stronger than coffee if you want to, but this would be a whole day affair, so you'd have to think about that. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> Congratulations on the show. Um, unbelievable how popular this is. It, you know, number one in the time slot on BET on Wednesday night. Why do you think that we are all connecting with this show? Kate, no, you go. I, please, I, I want you to start us off. I'm too excited. Okay. Go ahead, right. speak. Um, well, I feel like I feel like everyone's connecting because everyone can. I feel like we are showing either a slice of pie that people have never seen before, or people are able to relate to it 100. percent And either yeah. way, I think it's it's great because you know there are some shows I watch. I'm like I've never seen anything like this, and so I'm enthralled. I'm like into it. Um, and I feel like I get, I hear those stories like, wow, I never knew that that was, I didn't know that that was possible. I didn't know that people went through that. I, I, I didn't know that women who, um, you know, I can speak to my character. I didn't know, like, it, it seems like Andy has it all. I mean, w mm. why can't she just make a different choice? And it's like, it's not that easy, you know? Um, so I feel like people can relate to it or people want to relate to it. They want to understand it even more. So I feel like that's why people have been giving us so much love and support and we also give love and support back. So I think that's another reason why people are able to, or people feel connected to us on that level. Yeah, mm -hmm. and Ebony, for you, I mean, there's really great chemistry with the ladies, with everybody on this show. Um, you know, how, how instant was it when, when you all met? Was it, you know, very, you know, you just kind of clicked? I think so. I think we were all very excited <laughs> to be a part of this project, to be working for Tyler Perry, to be mm -hmm. on this, you know, this roller coaster ride. We were very, very excited. And so I think walking into it, we all brought that energy, that positivity, and then when we got to the work, everyone was willing to do the work. And so that was like, oh, we're family. This is this is how this is going to go. This is going to work. This is going to be great. And so shooting it, we carried ourselves that way. And, you know, we were able to support each other and crack jokes and cry together yeah. and do different things, you know, because, I mean, it was definitely a first for a lot of us, um, the way that we kind of got into this and also the way that we brought it to life. So, yeah, I think it shows, too, like you said. Yeah, and KJ, I mean, look, you're you're no stranger uh, working with the great Tyler Perry. This guy is just uh, unbelievable. Of course, you worked on uh, Medea's family funeral, and that's a whole other level working with Tyler as Medea and your director and Tyler, and that's that's just a whole other conversation. But what is it about this man um, that just Everybody wants to work with him. He's so special. He's such a humanitarian. I mean, what he does for Cherry is just beyond amazing. What is it about this guy? Uh, what is it? What? What is like, it about? What is him? it about him? Why does everybody want to work with him? What oh, makes him so he's special? Brilliant. He's brilliant. He is brilliant. He is. He is a like a revolutionary. Like he. He sees a vision that's so big, and he's able. His execution is next level. He's able to wear twenty hats. I've seen him do it. I've seen him wear twenty hats yeah. with a Medea costume, and then yeah. he goes and switches into another costume, and then he has his director hat on. He's brilliant. He's just a brilliant man. He's a well-rounded human being, um, and I think it's because of his humble beginnings. Like he's just been able to understand yeah. the plight of people who are not in the space that he's currently in um and that's why he's such a giver and philanthropist and that's why he's so loving like he's so great with everyone his yeah. his his cast his crew these stick people stick around for years decades even so um he's yeah. just a brilliant man yeah, <laughs> yeah he well, pushes you to be better so well. yeah he writes so well for women too i i find that amazing yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think 
you know, if you have followed his career, you've heard him speak about his connection with his mother and the women in his life and how important they were to him and his creative, you know, career as a whole. So mm -hmm. I think that he is very observant of the women around him. He's very, um, he's, he's a listener. He's ready to hear and kind of understand, I think, a lot more than maybe a lot of other, you know, male writers in our industry. He really sits and watches and dissects and tries to figure out why things are the way they are so that he can write about them, so that he can show people and other women, like, okay, I see you this way. I see why you did this. I see how you got there. And that's a really interesting thing about, you know, the show, too, is with the women who watch and are like, I've never been through that, but I know somebody who did that, and I never understood why. You get to see the arc from episode 1 to 25 of yeah. why that person did why they did. And I think it's really, really interesting to see that, and he brings light to that. So, yeah, he's great. Yeah. Uh, well, of course, we're all looking forward to the big season finale, if this is this week. But you, you ladies are so busy, or were just before, the, of course, the pandemic, pandemic hit. Um, you have so much on the go, and I just want to touch on that really quickly. KJ, you have a, a movie coming out on Netflix this summer, uh, Fatal Affair with Nia Long and Omar Epps. Wow, that sounds cool. Yeah. I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm really excited. It's it's uh, my first time being in this genre, so I'm really excited to see you know what what magic we made and um, how people receive it. Yeah, and working with those two, not too shabby. Yeah, <laughs> that was my favorite part. <laughs> yeah, and Ebony, um, I have to tell you, I watched Hunters. What a series that is. Uh, how cool was it working on something like that? That was just extraordinary. No, it was amazing. I mean, I think I knew it was going to be as amazing as it was when I got the first script. And I think, you know, reading that and just seeing all the images while I was reading, I knew that this was going to be something very special. And I was very, very, very adamant of being a part of it. And so I'm very happy. I'm excited people are receiving it well. So I'm glad you got a chance to watch it too. Yeah, well, listen, congratulations to the two of you, and, and best of luck with everything, and um, and thanks for giving us sisters. It's, it's really, it's, it's up and down, it's all over the place, but we, we love that. So thank you, and please just both stay well and stay healthy, and hope to see you in Canada soon. Thank, thank you, you so much. I'll advice. be there soon. Yeah, yep. I'll okay, it's a date, it's a date. Take care, ladies. Nice talking to you. Take care. Bye, great talking to you. Bye-bye.